There we are with Kathy Duba here. The, the second, the East Coast leg of the Vargas Mayorga press conference. A little bit different this time. Uh, you don't you have to go. You don't have to go get a football helmet this time. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. fortunately, I didn't get injured this time. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, stuff like this. You've been around the business. I mean, we just saw with the Hopkins Roy. I mean, what do you think about the, the, the quote fight that goes on? Now, I, usually, I'm not a proponent of, of staging arguments or whatever. This, this, these guys are real. I mean, yeah. I, they're not making this up. And we, are, we took pains today to separate them, you know, with a, a room full of people. But um, that's part of what makes this fight interesting. Yeah. You know, they mean it. Do you think I mean, it's going to help with the pay-per-view sales, uh, you would hope? I would think, you know, that that, that ball at the press conference last time was downloaded on YouTube, uh, you know, thousands and th tens of thousands of times, hundreds of thousands of times. So uh, I think people are aware of it generally. And I think uh, one thing everybody knows is they're going to hit each other with bell rings. You got uh, Kermit Simtron, uh, part, part of the undercard, talk about that. Yeah, well, Kermit is hot as anything coming off his big KO and got the undercard a couple weeks ago, and we're thrilled. We can keep him busy. He's thrilled to stay busy. We get to present him to the fans again and, uh, you know, keep him out there, which is what we need to do, keep there's, him hot. There's also been some rumors, a couple of your other good prospects, Giovanni Lorenzo and Joe Julio may make the card, whether on TV or off TV. I don't know if that's been decided yet. Yeah, but, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to present three fights live. We're going to tape the others. Uh, part of the reason has to do with simply not wanting to stay in the arena and incur enormous overtime expenses if, the, if all the fights go on. Fans will get to see a lot of the action, whether it be in highlight form or full fights, depending on how much time is left. But we will not be cutting the show short if there's a lot of knockouts or anything like that. We're going to be showing everything we can. We've had a couple weeks now to reflect after Arturo Gatti, who's been the main main events, you know, one of the franchise players. Uh, just any, I mean, I talked to you right after the fight. You know, have you had time to let things sink in? And any, any different thoughts now than right after the fight? No, I still feel at peace. I feel uh, closure. Uh, it is the end of an era, certainly, for our company. Um, this was the last fighter my husband had signed. Mm -hmm. He's still with us. Today, so it really is... To me, a, a real milestone. Uh, but he is talking to us about all the things he wants to do now that his boxing career is over. He's, he's about pursuing this with a very healthy outlook, a very positive attitude. Thrilled about that. You have the same. We can to help. You have the same type of feelings as his Fernando's last go round. Also, is it kind of like the same type of feelings as well on that end? Absolutely, because he wants to go out on his own terms, and he's chosen this is the time to exit. I believe he's sincere about it, and um, we, we, uh, we support him and anything he does in the future. A lot of people last year were writing the demise of main events. You read all those articles, but it seems like it's pretty strong now with Kermit Cintron. We mentioned Lorenzo, we mentioned Julio. Henry Crawford has uh, scored a couple great knockouts. Uh, so, so it seems like uh, you know you guys aren't ready to, uh, to, to, to leave yet. It's, you know, at the time when people were asking those questions, they said, look, we've been around for 27 years. you got to know that you, you ride out the waves. Uh, and now the crit's cresting again, as we can see. And uh, well, that's the way this business almost goes. Almost you got Jason Litzel coming back that's on right. ESPN as well. That's right. And he's so, another exciting, dynamic young star. Who, uh, Kathy Duba, thanks a lot again. And we'll wish you best luck. We'll see you September 8th.